What's going on YouTube? Tyler back again with a massive, massive, massive mail day here. 285 card bulk order. Just got back from PSA. I submitted this off in March and uh, I've got a lot of mixed emotions about this. Um, there's a lot of things that are changing in the grading landscape if you all have not paid that much attention to it. Um, this is either my best order or this is by far my worst order. I'll let you guys decide. You all let me know what your all's thoughts are down below. <clears throat> this is by far my most expensive resale value order that I have. Um, I've already sold three of these cards um, of the 285. <laughs> so I've still got a ton of cards left I need to sell. Uh, most of these are probably going to go to Prop Steam, but actually I am selling quite of these. Um, quite a lot of these off uh, without going to Probstein, but this is by far, by far, my worst graded card order from a PSA 10 gem rate. Only 28% gems. And we have a lot of cards here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. Um, just really, really disappointing results, guys. <laughs> um, kind of at a loss for words. You are more than welcome to Take a look at these cards, see if you all can detect anything. I know some sometimes you all have, have found things that I've not necessarily been able to find. Um, but yeah, very, very disappointing in this order. I think out of the first 22 cards, I got two Gym Mint cards. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, out of these <clears throat> Near Mint 8s, uh, before, <laughs> before I submitted this order, there were zero Near Mint 8s. I'm now the proud owner of the first two near mint eights, the lowest ever graded. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, this is just madness, man. You're going to see nine after nine after nine after nine with an occasional 10 sprinkled in. Um, so my gem rates over time have steadily decreased. And that the gym rates have decreased from 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, uh, at least for the first couple of years, mainly because I started submitting cards that, you know, would nine, really, because um, premiums for nines are increasing. So I've become a little bit more liberal in terms of what I submit. But this is, this is a noticeable difference. I love these thick cases, though, by the way. And you can just look how thick these things are compared to the normal case. I mean, just so much, so much bulkier. Um, but yeah, I've become a lot more liberal in what I submit. And that's led to my decreased gym rate, but this is crazy. I mean, I'm going from 80 to 70 to low 70s. My last order was 46%. <clears throat> and then now this is 28%. 28%. Um, this order had the potential to be a six-figure order. Literally, the, all these cards, if they had been graded the way that they have been grading my cards for the past three years, this would have been a easily, easily, a, over $100,000 in cards sitting here on this table. Um, we're close. We're close to six figures, but it's still... Very disappointing. Very disappointing, uh, the results. Honestly, I'm very torn on what I'm going to do with a lot of these nines. I mean, these these Zions are, are damn near flawless. It's, it's so disappointing seeing what is happening right now in the grading landscape. I think that grading companies understand that this is a money-making machine. And... Whether it be due to the trimming alterations, um, you know, there's been some type of directive stating that standards need to be tightened up, and they have been tightened. I mean, I've never had an order that has this low of a gym rate, gym mint ten rate, never, ever. I think the first order that I ever submitted to Beckett, way back in 1999, that was my first order I ever submitted. It's like 12 years old. <clears throat> that order, I think we submitted 20 cards. We got two mint nines and the rest were less than that. They're zero 9.5s through Beckett. 
a nice orange Zion. This car has to be flawless if it's a Jim Mint 10, right? Um, yeah, that order, I, I didn't get a single Jim Mint card. So that does tell you the difference in standards over time. Um, gosh, this is just so, so disappointing though. And I know uh, I've heard and I've seen several of you s state that um, complaining about the grades <clears throat> isn't that appetizing to view to to watch but at this point um i think that it's worth noting that something has drastically changed at psa um, and it all started with serial number four or five so a lot of people are saying oh it started now and i've got cards coming back this my serial numbers are four six you see a lot of cards already being listed on ebay that have serial numbers four seven four eight now, yeah, they could have been express orders, but I'm seeing a lot of cards that look like they were submitted in bulks. So, again, I've waited on this order a long, long time. So, not only was it a long order to get back, people were getting their cards back quicker than me, at least uh, at least with this order. Um, you know, it's it started with 4-5. From what I've seen, it's all started with 4-5. So... Got absolutely destroyed on these infinites. And these infinites are not difficult grades. These are not difficult grades at all. It's funny, those uh, prism jerseys. <laughs> I think that the gym uh, for those Zion prism jerseys, um, like there was a ton more PSA 10s than there were 9s. But I single-handedly just rebalanced out the population report of the sensational swatch pop report for Zion. So you all can thank me for for that. I mean, this is just sad. So, so sad to see what is happening to, um, to this order. I mean, it's just destroyed, just unbelievable. Now, the, the saving grace is that there are some cards, the tens are gonna do very, very well on the um, secondary market. I mean, very well. Like this green flood, I don't know exactly what it's going to go for, um, but it's it's going to do a lot better than what I expected. This orange laser tin, it's going to be around a seven hundred and fifty dollar card. So the good thing is, is that because PSA tins are becoming much more rare, um, the premium is there. The premium is very very high. And we look at this Teal Explosion. Super nice card. Super clean. So I would say even the 9s are going to do well, but I have a couple of these 10s. So the good thing is, is I did get some good grades, again, from um, just the nice cards, the, the big cards. So here's a blue parallel looks like it's got a couple corner dings so they, i knew that these blue ones would be borderline i got a yellow so the yellow came back a nine also then a regular one so this was a freebie surprisingly this psa 9 is going for like 50 bucks <laughs> even as a base psa 9 and I did get a 10, but of course it's on the Tribute. Um, let's see. These liftoffs got really hammered on the liftoff. And usually this corner right here is a little worn. It has a little bit of mark to it, but it's not terrible. Rookie Revolution came back a 10. Shockwave came back a 10. Very happy that this came back a 10. I, I, I was debating sending this off. To, I was debating whenever I sent grab these cards, I was debating sending off some of these to Becca just to get a pristine grade. But I mean, these corners are very, very, very clean. So I'm very happy that I got that. Then also we have an Astro. Now if you look at the Astro. Those corners look clean. Corners look clean, especially the bottom. Yep, no idea what they're looking at. 
Very, very tough. Tough to swallow. So I've, I've debated with some of these nines if I really, really scrutinize them. Do I pop them out? Try to send them back? Um, I'm really, really torn. I'm, I don't like to do the pop and regrade game. You know, it's a lot of effort to pop cards out of a case. Really don't want to damage them. I've done it before, but it's just labor intensive. And do I just sell them and, and chalk this up for what it is? I don't know. Really, really torn on what to do here. So that one does have a ding in the upper right corner. Let's see this one. So this corner's okay. Bottom corners look good. Back corners. So back corner has a little bit of a ding. We'll say, historically, that has not been enough to knock down a grade. Now this is a great card. I'm so surprised they gave me a 10 on this, especially for what you're about to see. Because what you're gonna see is nine. Again, these don't have corners on the back, so. Nine. There's gonna be a really good sequence here, guys. Nine. Just in case you're a mint nine collector. Got a bunch of them here for you. <laughs> This is insane. Look at the pop report on that cord. Tell me that the odds of me getting one graded out of a string of, what was that, five, six, seven, or seven of these? I don't know. That's just, that's BS. Just complete BS, really. Rookie's yellow. It's a mint nine. I was kind of picky with these guys, but at the same time, I know that these have ding corners. Now, now. I do think that there's some damage taking place here at PSA because I had a stack of these things. And some of the cards I've noticed I've gotten back, um, there's some, I guess, there's some wear on the cards that um, I didn't see whenever I submitted them. And I can go back and check out the video that I did because this is uh, one of my more popular videos, or at least it was whenever I released it. Um, showing uh, that this is about a $33,000 mail day. Of course, that that $33,000 was assuming that they were going to grade the way that I wanted them to grade. So look at that. This is a PSA 10. And look at those corners. And you're telling me that that entire stack right there is full of near mint 8s and mint 9s. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, these corners on these nines look a lot better. Yeah, maybe the grader uh, or the encapsulator put the wrong card in the wrong holder. I'm surprised I actually did as good on those as I did, but um, so just looking at this card specifically and you see how rough those condition numbers are, it's almost as if like they're like, all right, don't give out good grades on the good cards, but the rinky-dink cards, yeah, yeah, go ahead and give a 10. It's not that bad, big of a deal. It's almost what it feels like. I'm surprised I got a PSA 10 on this. Very, very surprised. And the corners and edges are a little bit more rough. A lot more rough. So this is the retail version. Uh, very condition sensitive. Very condition sensitive. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to pause this and then jump into the next. Okay, we are four down. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more to go. These last two here are cards that were submitted by one of my friends. So I won't go through those just in case he doesn't want me to show them off. So um, Now this one's really, really cool. This is like a silver, silvery, thicker card. And it came back a near mint eight. It's thick. Does have a corner ding, but nowhere near as bad as the corners that we just saw in that stack. And it comes back a near mint eight, so that's cool. Um, so this is, this is very interesting. So I know that this card is going to be near mint eight because whenever I submitted it, I saw that it had damage. See that edge right there? See that? It's like in the 
It's like the paint. It's like somebody keyed your car. Well, they keyed the edge. So there's that, and I think that there's also a corner. Maybe, it, yeah, it's that corner, I think, that has a little bit of raised. Um, it's raised a little bit. So this is a Zion rookie jersey numbered to 25. This is Cyber Monday. That one's a near mint eight. And it is on par with this near mint eight. Again, tell me where that stripped paint is. Tell me where it's off centered. Tell me where the corners are dinged. Or the surface has crap on it. All right, whatever. Um, Luca Astro completely struck out on my Lucas. Completely struck out. And this is where I think that there was probably a little bit of damage going on because it feels like every single one of these corners on my Lucas is damaged. It's like the exact same corner. Chinese New Year. Good thing is, is the value for Luca has gone up. Just the same old spot. Value of Luca has really, really gone up. So, um, because Luca is flat out amazing, is definitely now my favorite basketball player. It's between him and Giannis. Honestly, I like collecting um, non-American players because I just find them not to be a bunch of pussies. Just pardon my French. Pussy? I guess that's French for pussy. Yeah, really, really turned off by um, what's going on in basketball right now, but that's that's another story for another day. But love Luca, love Giannis. <clears throat> Play the game the right way. Come from humble beginnings. This card is definitely going to get regraded. Absolutely going to get regraded. This is pop control. Absolutely. 100%. This card is centered left to right. It is centered top to bottom. It is a low population card. This is, this is not getting sold. This is going to my PC, and I will eventually regrade this card. If there's any card in this order that's going to get regraded, it is this card. It will not be sold, resold. So you all saw the video that I did last time about my Lucas and the optics. All right, so this is my one Jim Mint Luca. Every single other copy came back a nine. So this one is centered left to right, top to bottom, a little bit fatter on the bottom, but still with intolerance, so came back a nine. This one, centered left to right, centered top to bottom, it's a nine. And this one, centered left to right, centered top to bottom, came back a nine. Yeah, I had eight gem mints, and like half of the gem mint ones last time were off-centered, and then there were a ton of like eights and 8.5s, so it's just crazy. This is also very, very interesting. So these cards were very clean whenever I submitted these in, um, and not a single one of these got gem mint grades. I mean, flawless so these will not be sold i will not be selling these um at least at market prices whatever market price is these guys will not be getting sold at market price they will likely be popped out and resold now again i got really lucky because psa did decide to give me some psa 10s on this which i'm very happy about because if they keep their standards the same, like that does have a little bit of white showing on the corner. <clears throat> then I have also a second one. And these are, yeah, so that, see that corner? So there is some intervariability in this grading order. I've, I've never seen one of these cards come back in near mint eight, ever. I don't think that it has any surface issues. It has those little bubbles. That's literally on every single card though. It's just how it's made. So I've never really seen this before. The other thing I'm thinking of is how the card has chipping on the edges. But again, that's how the card is made. Like that's just, it's a plastic card. So it's not gonna cut clean. That's just how it's cut. So that one came back in eight. And then that one also came back in eight. So that's the next stack. 
Okay, on to the next stack. So again, guys, I do apologize for being Debbie Downer with this order. I was just really, really hoping that this was going to be a much better order than what it was. Um, this is the Obsidian Silver. Centered left to right. Just beautiful, beautiful card. Decides to come back a nine. And then here's another. And if you remember my last order, I got two of these that both graded Jim Mint. Well, this time two that graded Mint. Now, luckily, luckily I got this. So this is the orange obsidian, number to 149. Something came back PSA 10. This is probably, I think the last one of these sold was around 1700. So it's a big card. <clears throat> Not selling mine for seventeen hundred. Not the way PSA is grading cards right now. The card will be two thousand twenty five hundred minimum. This is interesting. Very very interesting. I think this is the only one that has a little bit of a nick on a corner. Um, the rest of these guys, really really clean. Uh, I don't know what constitutes a Jim card anymore. <clears throat> this is just making me question the universe. Why we're here. What is the purpose of life? Um, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. I literally struck out on every single Phoenix that I submitted. Every single Phoenix came back a nine. Not a single Jim Mint Luca Phoenix card. Just, just ridiculous. Just crazy ridiculous. All right, <clears throat> that was quick. This bad boy did come back Jim Mint. And I wonder if they're like, oh, this is a cheap Luca. I'm going to get it graded. Well, the last one of these I think sold for 4500 bucks. I don't know if that's legit or not, but um, kind of hope so. <laughs> I hope that it is. And of course, of course, they're going to give this card nine. This card now in PSA 10 grade is what, seven grand? So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Got anything noteworthy? How's that corner? Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Edges look good, everything looks good. Corners, those corners look good. Those corners look good. Maybe a hint of something there, but dude, that's gem, this card is gem mint. Worst case, this is a BGS 9.5. <clears throat> so this one is getting, I'm holding on to it. It will be cracked, it will be regraded. What makes it even worse is this. This is the high gloss from 2017 UD EuroLeague, number to 20. Number to 20. You tell me where they're finding that this is a near mint eight card. All right, let's look at this corner. So that corner may have yeah, it's not that bad. This corner is not bad. And this is a near mint eight. <clears throat> near mint eight, it's interesting. That is not the assignment that I would give it. But then again, I'm not a highly trained, qualified professional greeter. Interesting stuff. So uh, the, these cards right here are easy, easy grades. I've submitted four of them. In the past month, you're gonna see, in the past month of the videos, I've gone one for four on those. And then there's a Lamar Jackson, copper. No horizontal bar line, which makes these cards hard to grade. Top corners look good, bottom left looks good, bottom right does have a little bit of a, a speck on it, but Again, I think that I've, my tie-dye Lamar had that, had that on it also. Go back and look at the video for my tie-dye and it has that. <clears throat> Gem Mint 10 Lamar. I think that that is one of the few Gem Mint optics that I got. 
it is one of the few. I just balanced out the pop report for Lamar. <laughs> All right, go to the next step. All right, next step we go. Again, good thing that these cards have increased in value because, whew, talking about getting, getting destroyed. You know, I saw these and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I, I thought that I was going to get maybe two to three nines. I think I got maybe three tens. Two to, two to three tens, if that. Was it two that we've counted so far? Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, dude. Get destroyed, Tyler. This is like PSA saying... Uh, well, I can't say what I want to say. <clears throat> this is just PSA, like, teabagging my face. Saying, you will not get the grades that you thought that you were going to get. So, this is a hollow... <laughs> very, very, very disappointed that this came back a nine. The card is flawless. I was picky in determining which one of these I was going to send in and which ones I bought online. This one will likely not be sold <clears throat> and maybe regraded. Depends on what resale value is currently. Uh, they did get my red yellow PSA 10. So happy about that. Kaboom. Uh, no kaboom for Tai Tai. You get nothing. You think your cards are perfect? They're not. They're mint. And I would love to see. So that has a little bit of a corner issue. So that one's mint. And this one is also mint. They have beautiful cards. Really, really beautiful. How this one is not Jim Mint, just... Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. All right. So, Near Mint 8. This one is definitely Near Mint. You can see it has that surface scratch. I knew that it had that on there. Um, not complaining about that. Um, I, I knew that it was going to be a long shot getting a Lamar Jackson Jim. I think both of these had surface issues. That one... I don't recall that at all. I would have tried to peel that thing back and clean it up so it wouldn't look so bad. So, yeah, dude, I have no idea what the process is right now for these cards, but there, there's something, something going on with how they're removing these cards and getting them graded. I truly think that there's cards that are getting damaged right now. There's between Beckett, SGC, and PSA, they're handling so many cards right now cards literally have to be just flying out of people's hands and like wouldn't surprise me if they're getting encapsulated in half like I guess that's one good thing is none of my cards are getting severely damaged enough where I'm getting cards sent back and cut in half but I don't know it's wild times right now in the grading grading world <clears throat> So in terms of ROI, I'm, I'm going to make out like a bandit on this order. This is going to be my most profitable order. Um, that profitability, though, <clears throat> is not due to, I mean, it is due to grading to an extent, but the market appreciation for these cards just is the bulk of it, really. <clears throat> I mean, some of the nines are outselling the raw card, but um, yeah, it's... I don't know, it's just the market appreciation for what's taken place really in the hobby over the past couple of, of days and or months. That's the big thing. So I did get a pink to come back, Jim Mintz. That's numbered to one, 199. And we got a orange. <clears throat> orange is numbered 299. We got a yellow. <clears throat> Really cool. These yellows are nice. I want to try to speed through these a little bit quicker. Because um, I know this video is going to be really, really long. 
for some reason my phone does not want to focus. I have to manually touch it to focus close and then whenever I pull it back out, I gotta hit it again. So I think I messed something up. It was on autofocus, but now it's straight manual, so. Oh, Stellar Rookies Purple. Look at this card. Look how beautiful this card is. Numbered to 25. These are my patties, man. What is wrong with this patty? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You, my friend, are not getting sold. Stellar Rookies. Wow. All right. These are definitely meant nine. Definitely meant nine. You can tell from the corners. It's a hollow. It's still a $1,500 card. As is this one. Jim Mint, we're looking at what, 6,000 now? Well, it was 6,000 and then it's dropped to 4,000 because really the entire market is just kind of going down the tubes. I won't say down the tubes. I feel like money is shifting. Um, it's shifting a little bit. <clears throat> We'll do a video on that, just about how money is shifting um, and how some of the recent events that are occurring in the world are, are really doing a lot of that shifting. And you're seeing things like soccer blow up. Absolutely just blow up. So yeah, I got a lot of patties. A lot of patties came back nines. It's a huge difference between a PSA 9 and a PSA 10. We're talking $450 PSA 9, $1,300 PSA 10. So a huge difference. All right, let's go to the next one. Yep, so um, yeah, a lot of money shifting around recently. <clears throat> um, the good thing with football now, I have seen, at least with some Lamar Jackson, so I sold some Lamars at the end of August. Looks like in September, September 1st and 2nd, there's a slight uptick, at least in his Optic Rookies and a couple other PSA 10 cards I was looking at. Really happy to have this. I may add this one to the PC just because this is low pop. Hard to grade. Surface is usually complete garbage. Um, these right here just, oh, they make me so, so sad. I'm really torn on what to do with these. So, so sad what's going on with my patties. Oh, boy. Um, but, yeah, football is just around the corner. So I think that there's some money moving to football. There's money definitely moving to soccer. Um, I think that it's, it's leaving back. So there's always the cyclical – there's always cycles with sports, especially if you're a guy who gets knocked out of the playoffs. So obviously last year um, Giannis Antetokounmpo was a huge, huge example of this. Dude, what the heck did they do to my card? What, did I send this in this bad? Look at that. All right, whatever. Um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? So Giannis, when we got knocked out by the Raptors last year, his card saw roughly a 50% drop. Um, I believe I was doing videos at the time. You can go back and look at the videos. I said, I don't care if the cards drop. People are like, oh, don't buy Giannis, don't buy Giannis. Well, I bought a ton of select rookies. I bought a ton of SP Authentic rookies. I got them graded, and I actually did a video and said, I don't care if the value drops, because if they grade the way that I know that they're going to grade, then I'm going to still be more than okay, like really, really okay. Um, so it's a, it's a normal cycle. If you get bounced out of the playoffs, you're going to go down. Um, somebody like Luca, I don't understand why he is getting uh, going down so, so much. But I am correct in predicting that the ones that are getting affected the most are the mass-produced cards. So those big mass-produced cards like Prism. I would not want to own regular Prism right now. Just look at this, dude. Come on. All right, it's got a little flaw in there. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I would not want to have mass-produced cards. <clears throat> um, rare right now sells. I've been saying that for a long, long time. Rare sells. Uh, pop report rare sells. <clears throat> Zero number sells. Um, I, for the <clears throat> for the life of me, cannot get a gem mint grade on this card. PSA absolutely refuses to give me a gem mint grade. Probably won't sell these. I just won't. Probably gonna keep them. At least the best copy. Yeah, this one I'll sell. I'll sell this one. 
But yeah, all right, let's go to the next step. Yep, so <clears throat> rare stuff sells. I'm a big believer in that. Um, so this is a Black Friday wedges card. And this, I believe, is... I thought it was serial number. Is it not serial number? Man. Oh, yeah, it is number. No, okay, 50, right there. I can see it. All right, dude. What happened to this card? What's going on here? Why are you a six? Tell the world right now why you are a six. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, is it though? Is that that? Is that that crease? Man, for real? Yep, guess that's it. That sucks. Rookie Roundup. This is a cool looking card. Really cool. I can't, I need to go back and look. Is this the swirl version? Did I buy a swirl version and not know it? Oh, I gotta go look at this. Okay. I get these so mixed up. Yeah, this is the Rookie Roundup. This is not the retail version. Whoa, no way. Did I really buy this card? I bought a raw one the other day. Um, I did a video on it. And it's at PSA right now, so I did not know that that's, a, that's the swirl. Dude, that's dope. That's awesome. All right, this is nice. So these cards are now pushing 500 bucks. Rookies and stars. Crazy what these guys are going for. And these, I think, are pushing 200 for the nines. So almost $500 for a rookies and stars. It's, really, it's consistently over 400, but they're getting, they're creeping up to 500. And the nines are like 225. Now this, ultimate PC card right here. Um, I would not have given this a PSA 10, but you know what? Every now and then, you're going to take what you get and you're going to like it. That's what this is. So this is the red version. So you can see this entire logo is in red. PSA 10. I think this is a pop two or pop three card. Maybe it's less than five. So that, that one's staying in the PC, not going anywhere. Again, rare sells. I like rare. Um, this is also low, low pop. So very, very nice. Knights Templar, <clears throat> graded a ton of these. I don't know if, I think that's probably what's holding me back. Looks like there's something going on there. At least I think so, but on the back it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Who knows? It does have a ding. Night School, I think this is my last patty. Came back at 10. And we got uh, some fish, some fresh fish. Fish from 2017, Heritage Chrome, number 999. <clears throat> then this is some rotten fish. I think it's rotten because it has a raised edge right there. And I wanted to see if I could get it by PSA, um, just to see what their interpretation was. And I think that they agreed with my initial assessment that was kind of wishy-washy, but it's hard, you can't even tell right here, but I think right there on that edge where the light is, the top of the light is hitting, it has a raised bubbled edge, I think. Um, I wasn't really sure, I didn't know if that's part of the card stock or not, but I think PSA agreed, <clears throat> um, which kind of stinks, and it came back to five. Um, this is the first order that I've ever submitted that has Bowman's Best cards in it that I did not get a single Gem Mint card. So that kind of sucks. And my Wander Franco came back a nine. That definitely sucks. <laughs> and this Franco came back a nine, which I anticipated because look at that border, top to bottom. It's pretty fat, so no surprise there. <clears throat> so all those came back nines. All right, on to the next. All righty then. Oh, this card is about a $900 card, or at least it was until Christian Yellick decided that he was just gonna Start sucking for some reason. Now I probably can't give it away. Daniel Jones, autograph. That one's pretty sharp. Struck out on all my Daniel Jones. Silver came back a nine. All these laser prisms all had um, some issues on their corners, so and these are these are big issues, in my opinion. So that corner, I mean, it's, it's very, very noticeable. So I was hoping that maybe one of these guys would sneak by. This one isn't as bad. 
Um, definitely see that the blade that they used to cut prism this year is a little choppy. Yeah, so really, that's it's not that bad. Those all came back nines. But they gave my Noevi Marte PSA 10, whoever that guy is. <laughs> Drew Locke, that one's way off centered. I don't know why I bought that card, but it's way off centered. It came back a nine, but so I'm okay with that. Oh, my Trey Young. Why did they do this to my Trey? Why? What is wrong with my tray? Oh my gosh, PSA. Y'all are smoking crack when y'all grade on my cards. Oh, it's because y'all are in California. You all were definitely high. I mean, I guess in California, the only thing that you could do right now, since you can't go out, is just smoke weed. So I guarantee, I guarantee that my grader was high when he graded my cards. He had to be so high. Because whenever he meant to put in a 9, he put a 10. And whenever he meant to put a 10, he put a 9. That's it. That's, man, I, I knew that was it. I, I guarantee you that's why. Dude, PSA, I knew that y'all wouldn't do me like this. I knew it. I knew that you guys were... Y'all just got your labels mixed up that day. <laughs> Are you serious? What is wrong with this card? This goes back a 9. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so funny. Look how sharp these corners are. Y'all gonna do Lou Bob like this, huh? Lou Bob is gonna get the dirty treatment where he's gonna get straight shut out. Wow. Why'd y'all do Lou Bob like this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so, so funny. This is so sad, guys. <sighs> oh boy. This is, um, this is a really nice card. Playoff ticket number to 15. So I sold a Vlad Guerrero Jr. this card, PSA 10 for 1500, 1400. Um, that one could have been something close. Could have been close. Now, you all tell me what's wrong with this green to make it a near mint eight. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, so I got another one here. Oh yeah, there's 99 of them, I got two. I got two of them. There's 99 of these. This is 49. Looks pretty centered. Corners look good. I know there wasn't a ton of surface issues. Oh, that's, you know, PSA just made a mistake. <laughs> they just made a mistake. They playing with me, man. They get me next time. Dude, what's wrong with this card? Surface on Mega is never messed up. Top to bottom, perfect. Holy cannoli <clears throat> the holiest of cannolis we have just witnessed the holiest of cannolis Whew, this is painful this is painful all right couple more stacks all right <clears throat> on to the next stack this is a really cool card regardless of the grade some people call this Derek Jeter's rookie card I call it his Tops Chrome base card. PSA 9. It's about a $200 card now. Julio. My bro Julio. He's kind of sitting at home right now. He's got a bum leg, I think. Didn't he, didn't he have some type of injury? He was going to be out the season anyway, so... <clears throat> Corona kind of shut down the minor league season, but an injury shut down a season regardless. And dude, PSA... I'm, I, that's... My gosh, good man. P I think what they meant to say is mint nine equals PSA ten. I mean, I, I think that's true. That's that's what happened on this order. That is definitely what happened on this order. Where you see a nine, there should be a ten. Where you see a ten, there should be a nine. I'm standing by that statement. That is probably an accurate statement for what my predictions were for this order. Anywhere you see a nine. 
there should be a tin. That's just about, it's literally the exact opposite of um, how I graded the cards versus how PSA graded the cards. Where you see a nine, I give you a 10. Look at that. Beautiful premium box. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Did manage to get a, a really nice red laser here, though. Pretty happy with that, because that's actually a really nice card. All these are nice cards. That's just a nice grade, let's put it that way. Uh, what's wrong with this red laser? Anything wrong with this red laser? Centering looks good. Corners look good. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at a pristine candidate to me. Beckett, if I crack these and submit to Beckett, I guarantee I'm gonna get a couple pristines. Maybe I should do that. See what happens. I would do that, but I wouldn't get my cards back until 2022. So by that time I could be dead. You know, there's a lot of things that could happen. Like, so I'd rather not want to do that experiment. <clears throat> Infinite Rookie, nine. Man, they love giving these um, tribute cards PSA 10s, but they do not want to give the regular base card PSA 10. No, 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 All right, this card is definitely Pop Control City right here. Uh, look at the, look at the uh, PSA Pop Report. There's like almost 50 of these graded. Only five or six PSA 10s. You all tell me what's wrong with this card. All right, centering looks good. Corners on the front look good. Surface, good. Just. <sighs> lost for words. At a loss for words, man. So I'll just have a moment of silence for what we're witnessing. PSA 10, red, white, and blue. All right, I'll take that. This is actually a cool card. I got this as a, I think as a freebie in one of the cards that I got. Uh, I think. I have to go back and look at my records, but I thought I got this for free. So that's pretty dope. <clears throat> All right, two more stacks. All right. <clears throat> so nice little NBA action going on right here. Um... So, lottery tickets. I definitely should not be playing the lottery anytime soon. Uh, me predicting the explosion of the card market and dumping a bunch of money into it and doing very well. Yeah, okay, that's, that's probably good. But right now, based on these results, no good, no good. PSA 10, all right, let's look at the nines. Oh no, I dropped one, not cool. Nice, mint nine. Where did you go astray, young fella? What did you do to be banished from the PSA 10 club? Oh, nothing, just, just pop control, okay, gotcha. PSA 10, shockwave. Yes, I'm certainly shocked by this water. Whoa, look how sharp those corners are. Wowzas. Rookie Revolution. Dude, this is nuts. This is nuts, man. I feel like I've just been pranked. What, what was that show back on MTV back in the day? Like, it's not pranked or pwned or... I don't know, man. Somebody's, somebody's pulling a fast one on me. Ooh, man. All right, all right, all right. So I guess that's now a mint nine. Used to not be. Now, I'm very happy about this. At least at the very end, they gave me some solid grades on some Giannis. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't have a popper, uh, a, a um, PSA graded order have a PSA 10 gem rate of like, 10%. So we're going to have to bolster this up a little bit here. So let's pad the stats. Let's get this back up to where it needs to be. So 
think that's what they did for me. I said, you know what, Tyler? We feel sorry for what we've done to you over the past, you know, however long we've been graded these cards. We're just going to give you some gem mints here to uh, really finish finish this out strong. So, sure, thanks. All right. <clears throat> we'll move these guys out of the way. Then we'll slide this one back over. We're going to jump into this one and then finish up. So this is a long, long video, and I've been meaning to get this finished. I just have not gotten a chance to get it finished. Giannis, right now, you better not get beat in the second round. You lost game one, and that's frustrating. You know, it's, it's funny. I've sat on these cards for so long. I didn't really know what to do in terms of videos. Like, do I even do a video on this? Because this is just so disappointing. Do I just ship them off immediately, get them consigned? Um, so I finally cleared space away and decided to go ahead and make the video. This card right here, this is bullshit. This is complete and utter bullshit. There's nothing wrong with this card. And they gave it a near mint 8 because there's only been less than like 5, I think, graded by PSA. I graded several, or some of the ones that have been graded by PSA, including the autograph version. I graded. I've graded the majority of the films. Um, and that one came back in eight. This one is getting popped. It is going to be going into my PC. It will not be a PSA 8 the next time. If it gets a PSA 8 the next time, it will be a Beckett 9.5 the third time. This is actually a really cool card because this is a pop 2 card. So a Zion rookie ticket swatches. So it's not the rookie ticket autograph, but it's the rookie ticket jersey. Big difference. Yes, yes, yes. But this is a pop 2 card. Um, so given how just trash these grades have been, I'm actually very happy with that. So that was pretty nice. Uh, Juan Soto Rainbow Foil, that one I knew was probably going to be borderline, so not super surprised that it came back a nine. Um, although the back looks really good. For some reason, this corner, this corner looks fuzzy. CJ Abrams, this one has surface scratches. You can see that surface scratch through the case. Um, didn't think it would be, yeah, you can see the roller marks there. Now, I've seen that be a 9 before, knocking it down to an 8. It's pretty crazy. But then again, they did that to everything. I mean, a lot of these Bowman's Best don't even have roller marks, and they're just destroyed. This one might. Let's see. Does that have any roller marks? Maybe just have gunk up there in the corner. I couldn't get off. Yeah, dude, did I strike out on every single Bowman's Best card that I submitted? This is the easiest, oh my gosh, dude, this is the easiest brand to get graded. I literally struck out on every single Bowman's Best card. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that old smudge. Limited autograph number 349 from Kawhi. This is now close to a six, $700 card. Pretty nice. I've graded a bunch of those and they came back PSA 10, so I don't know what's wrong with this one other than the autograph. I don't know if they count that bad, but again, this is a plastic card. This is how this stuff gets cut, so who knows. Right now, I think they're looking for any excuse not to give a card a PSA 10, and if they find one, then they will do it. They will just not give it. Finish strong, PSA 10, jaw, green. Looks pretty, do it, pretty good. Again, these are my buddy's cards, so yes, he got a PSA 10 on the Bowman's Best card. I did not. Um, but yeah, that is the order. Guys, absolutely destroyed. I'm going to have more videos on this, just kind of summarizing my thoughts. I at least wanted to get the cards out there on camera. Um, but this is madness, dude. This is madness. So resale value on this is going to be close to around $70,000. So yes, $70,000 in terms of resale value. Bunch of these cards though, I'm not gonna sell immediately. Um, I'm, I'm really torn on what to do with some of these cards. If you all have any thoughts, any ideas on what I should do, um, any suggestions, or if you're like, what the heck is going on with PSA? This is way different than any of the videos that I've seen from Tyler and um, this is that something is clearly going on. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. And if you all also are experiencing some of the same things that I'm experiencing in terms of a drastic change in grading standards, and not even just drastic change in grading standards, 
I mean, we've looked at cards in this order that were outright flawless, that came back less than Gem Mint 10. We've seen Gem Mint 10 cards in the same order that had dinged corners, but were of lower quality cards. Like they were not very um, popular or common. So let me know what your all's thoughts are because this is just crazy. This is crazy. Um, it's taken me a couple weeks to digest it. Um, again, I really would have liked to have a six figure order. That would have been really, really cool to do a video on. Um, this is clearly not it, but still a $70,000 order is not much to sneeze at or sniff at or whatever. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, as always, if this is content that you like, uh, even though I wind more in this video than I normally do, please drop a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, see you next time.